Well, good morning, and today it is a beautiful sunny day, and I'm going out to look at some locations that we're going to shoot tonight. Now, I'm going to meet up with my friend Bailey. Some of you may remember him from the last visit I had to the Grampians, and we went out and shot some awesome locations. Today, we're going to do exactly the same thing, except we're going to go to some different spots. Now, what I'm going to do now is take us on a little journey whilst it's still daylight to a couple of those locations. So, let's go and have a look. This is the absolutely magnificent Barocca lookout right at the top of the Grampians overlooking the town of Halls Gap down below. Now I've shot here a few times before but we're coming here tonight. The weather is looking awesome and I can't wait to get up here and see what we can find. Now if you look over there in the distance, you'll be able to see Lake Fines, and that's where I shot the first night I was over here in the Grampians. So that's not that far from here, probably about 10 k's I'd say. So this is the classic shot that everybody gets up here at the Grampians, with this beautiful rock face here overlooking Lake Belfield, which is down there in that uh, valley. And I'm guessing that Bailey and I will shoot this tonight. He's got a fantastic shot of this, which he only took about uh, three or four weeks ago. It looks awesome. Well, I know a lot of people are going to say, well, why do you bother getting the shots that everybody else gets? Let's face it. I mean, this view is so magnificent. It doesn't really bother me that everybody else wants to get this shot. And not many people get up here during the night time to get the shots that we're going to get. You know, unless I was willing to <clears throat> jump over the barrier and walk down the edge of the cliff there, which is extremely dangerous, and I'm not going to do that. This is the only access you have to this eastern side of the mountain here. And the Milky Way core is rising up over there, and it looks absolutely fantastic coming over the top of the town. So that's the shot we're going to go for. Okay, well, this is Wartok Reservoir, and this is the next leg of our journey. Never shot here before, so I'm going to have a look around and see what angles I can find. So let's go. So just looking at the lake, it looks like the water levels are fairly much down, like just about everywhere in Victoria this year. Um, but there's some logs and things sticking out of the water over there. And there's also this little um, wall, I guess that's where the spillway of the dam is. I'm going to go and have a look at that because I reckon that might make a really awesome foreground subject. I think it's facing in the right direction. There's the southeast over there where the core is going to be rising up later. So I'll check it out a bit closer though. All right, well, this is just magnificent. This water is as clear as crystal at the moment. It's like a mirror. There's no wind. Gee, I hope it stays like that for tonight. So we're going to shoot here for sure. Uh, there's lots of rocks around here. This, this wall here is made out of rocks. And down in the distance down there, you can see this beautiful little rock uh, tower. And I think that'll make an awesome subject. Now, what I'm going to do is go and make sure the Milky Way lines up behind that, so I'll do it now. Remember, I like to do all of these things during the daylight, if I can, because when I get here at night time, you're sort of more limited for time. So I'm just gonna check out photo pills now. Okay, well, here it is. Now, I must say it's a little bit tricky to line this up during the daytime. You won't be able to see my phone, but I'm getting the app photo pills out. Oops, nearly fell in the water there. Uh, photo pills, and I'm gonna to go to the augmented reality view put it up there into the sky and just work out, oh, there we go, work out that the Milky Way core is going to come up just over on the left-hand side of the tower. And that pretty much lines up perfectly with what we're going to want to do tonight. Alrighty, well, this is a great spot. There's plenty of compositions here. Love the fact that the mountains, the Grampians are there in the background of this shot. There's going to be about a 28% moon tonight. 
and that will light up those mountains and the foreground, but it'll probably not be too bright that we can't do a bit of light painting on that structure down there. So I'm looking forward to that. Can't wait, now let's just move on to our next location. All right, now this is the Mackenzie Falls car park and there's quite a few walking tracks around here. You'll, if you have a look in the background behind me, you'll see an old chimney. Now, that's a remnant of a building that was here before a big bushfire went through and destroyed everything. Um, anyway, I think Bailey used to live here. So that's probably another story. But besides that, we're potentially looking to come up here and shoot that old chimney under the stars. So let's just go and check it out. I'll see if I can work out what the angles are going to be to catch the Milky Way. All right, well, here's the chimney. Once again, photo pills has come to the rescue. So I just put it up like that. And I can see that uh, later on tonight, probably about nine o'clock or even a bit further beyond that, the core is going to rise up right over the top of those trees in the background. Um, and the chimney looks fantastic. There's a barrier around it which stops people getting in there. But uh, we'll see how we go with those. Should be able to still light it up okay. And I think, yeah, beautiful clear sky. That's what we want for tonight. Wow, look at this awesome waterfall. Now, this is not Mackenzie Falls. Mackenzie Falls is a big one. It's way down a long walking track and just about kills your legs and back getting back up again. I'm not gonna do that now. Uh, in fact, I'm not even sure I'm gonna do it ever because I'm not that fit. Anyway, but this is a nice look out here. Funny story, I just passed a guy down on the track on the way here and I just said, being friendly, I said, g'day, how are you going? And he looked at me and said, nothing. I don't think he was Australian and he didn't understand what I was talking about. I should realise, you know, because this is a tourist place. There's people from every country in the world come here to see all of these beautiful sights. So uh, next time I'll say, hello, how are you going? Well, you know what? I'm constantly amazed at how easy it really is to find composition for nightscapes. Now, I was just driving along this road here, beautiful sunny day, and I see this tree here on the side of the road. And I think to myself, well, what a great perspective. It's got the mountains in the background, it's facing the right direction, and it's right on the side of the road. Now I can tell you from my experience, and I talk about this all the time, you'll be sick of it, even at night time, because it's on the road there, I'll drive straight past here and I won't be able to see that tree and I certainly won't be able to come back and find it if I didn't know exactly where it was to start with. So I'm not sure if we'll be able to shoot this tonight, but it's on the road that we're traveling. So I'm marking it in my GPS just in case and we'll come back and have a look at it. All right, well, here we go, climbing up Mount Victory Road, heading up to the top of Baroka Lookout. Just had coffee with Bailey. Bailey knows this territory like the back of his hand. So it's good to have that tour guide here to show me around. Uh, some areas I'm not quite so familiar with. So really looking forward to it. Let's get up there. The adventure continues. Okay, so I'm just arriving up at Baroka Lookout now. Not too sure how much time I'm going to get to actually video what we're doing up here because we're on a bit of a tight schedule tonight. So I'll see what I can do, but uh, I'll certainly show you the results of what we get. So uh, yeah, this is this is exciting. I love this this spot. So uh, look forward to it.
that was just awesome. Now we're leaving uh, Baroka Lookout. We're heading to Lake Watuk. So I showed you that during the daytime today. We're gonna see what it looks like at night time and shoot across the lake. So um, we'll see you there in a minute. just coming up to the dead tree on the side of the road I've entered it into my GPS so I can find it if I didn't do that I'd have no hope of getting back out here so it's just up here somewhere it says 400 meters from here in 100 meters the right at Brentby and Granby a dead tree on the right okay well here we are we've arrived can't see it but I know it's out there Well, Bailey's just headed home. We've finished shooting for the night and uh, I've made my way back towards Hall's Gap. But you know, I got halfway across the mountain and I thought to myself, gee, that sky looks great. So what I'm going to do is have a little bit of a rest and a nap and a cuppa. And then I'm gonna go back up to Reed's Lookout right up the top of the Grampians and get the Milky Way core coming down in the western sky it lays flat down here in the southern hemisphere at this time of year so it's probably going to be about 4 35 o'clock in the morning uh, so i need to get a rest before then but the adventure hasn't yet finished so i'm going to have a cuppa and uh, then get a rest i'll see you guys very shortly Guys, well, here I am up here at the top of Reed's Lookout. It is blowing an absolute gale up here. I can't believe the change in the wind from where I was with Bailey. There was nothing there. It was calm as anything. And here, oh, it's unbelievable. But anyway, what I'm doing here is shooting a panorama with the, uh, the lookout tower, the fire tower in the background. And as you can see, I've got a dew heater on the lens of the camera. I've had a fair bit of trouble with the lens fogging up uh, tonight. So this seems to be doing the trick at the moment. Works very well. I've got a battery pack hanging down underneath the camera in a little bag, just uh, secured there nicely. And that's powering the lens warmer. All right, so as you can see here, I'm shooting this with my Nikon Z6. 20 millimeter f 1.8 lens 
and I shot this um, at ISO 6400 at f2.8 and they were 15 second exposures for each frame. I just shot about 12 uh, frames in two rows of six and I'm hoping I've got the Milky Way core laying down, stretching across the southwest sky. So um, I've got the tripod leg spread very wide here to make sure it's very stable because it's very windy. I'm a bit annoyed because all of these uh, trees and shrubs are blowing around like crazy. I can't do anything about that. So I'm hoping my lighting is okay. Uh, I've put a bit of light on the building behind and I'm really looking forward to seeing what this one looks like. I think it'll come up quite well. And there you have it. Another nightscape adventure comes to a close up here on this hill, just about getting blown off the edge. But never mind, I loved catching up with Bailey once more. This is his neck of the woods. He knows his way around all of these areas really well. Unfortunately, we didn't get to go to every location. We didn't quite get to Mackenzie Falls with the uh, chimney, but never mind. What we did do, I was really, really happy with. Culminating here at this fantastic spot with the lookout tower here on top of the hill. So I'm just gonna leave it there and I'm so pleased that you guys have tuned in once again. Very happy to read your comments and respond, ask questions, that's all good. No worries at all. And I'm really looking forward to seeing you in our next adventure, which I'm sure is just around the corner. So I'll see you guys then.